Good morning. I'm Jan Cope, Provost to the Cathedral, and I'm delighted to welcome you to our service this morning on Tuesday, September 20th. Today is the feast day of John Coleridge Patterson, Bishop of Melanesia, and his companion, all of whom were martyrs. Let us pray. Lord God, you've brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Collect for this feast day. God who called your faithful servant John Coleridge Pattison and his companions to witness to the gospel and by their labors and sufferings raised up a people for your own possession. Pour out your Holy Spirit upon your church in every land, that by the service and sacrifice of many, your holy name may be glorified and your kingdom enlarged. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our scripture appointed for today is taken from the Gospel of Mark, the 8th chapter beginning at the 34th verse. He called the crowd with his disciples and said to them, If any want to become my followers, let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For those who want to save their life will lose it, and those who lose their life for my sake and for the sake of the gospel will save it. For what will it profit them to gain the whole world and forfeit their life? Indeed, what can they give in return for their life? Those who are ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of them the Son of Man will also be ashamed when he comes in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. The man we remember today, John Coleridge Pattison, was born in London in 1827. After his studies in a tour of Europe with the study of languages, he became a fellow at Oxford. After hearing the Bishop of New Zealand call for volunteers to go to the South Pacific to preach the gospel, Pattison went and founded a school for the education of native Christian workers. Pattison was adept at languages and learned 23 of the languages spoken in the Polynesian and Melanesian islands of the South Pacific. In 1861, he was consecrated Bishop of Melanesia. At the time, the slave trade was illegal in the South Pacific, but the enforcement was lax, and slave raiding was a flourishing business. Patterson worked hard to stamp out the slave trade, but he and his companions were erroneously assumed to have been involved in an attack. And as a result, Patterson and his companions were killed in a really gruesome effort to send a message, Pattison's body was floated back to his ship with five hatchet wounds in his chest, one for each native who'd been killed in an earlier raid. His death caused an uproar in England and spurred the government to take a firm stand in measures to stamp out slavery in the slave trade once and for all in its Pacific territories. Their martyrdom was the seed that produced the strong and vigorous church which flourishes in Melanesia today. Pattison was 44 years old when he was martyred. As regular worshipers will note, I like to lift up some of the saints who've gone before us. They inspire me and give me so much more context for the church writ large as we experience it this day. I preached on Labor Day weekend 
And one of the speeches I quoted was from the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. His speech was entitled, I've Been to the Mountaintop. And it would turn out to be his last speech because he was assassinated the next day. One of his challenges to the people gathered that night and to all of us today was to invest ourselves in dangerous unselfishness. When I reflect on John Coleridge Patterson's impactful life, dangerous unselfishness rings true. So today I want to leave you with a question. How are you and I going and doing likewise, living lives that manifest dangerous unselfishness. Amen. And now I invite you to join me in the prayer our Savior Christ taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. A Collect for Martyrs. Almighty and everlasting God, who kindled the flame of your love in the heart of your holy martyr, John, grant us your humble servants a like faith and power of love, that we who rejoice in his triumph may profit by his example through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A prayer of self-dedication. Almighty and eternal God, so draw our hearts to you, so guide our minds, so fill our imaginations, so control our wills that we may be wholly yours, utterly dedicated to you, and then use us, we pray as you will, and always to your glory and the welfare of your people. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace this day and always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.